Hello. Hello and welcome to Serious Act News. If so, we have some information that could interest you. In today's edition of Serious News, we are going to show you how simple it is to configure Serious Act with Profinet hardware in the TIA portal. Let's visit Helmut at his workplace to see how it's done. Come and join us. Hi, Helmut. Hi, Ava. Can you show me how to configure Sirius Act with Profinet hardware in the TIA portal? Sure, no problem. Maybe you can start by briefly explaining what we need for a successful configuration. Sirius Act with Profinet is completely integrated into the TIA portal for versions 13 and version 14. You also need an HSP. From version 14, Service Pack 1 and higher, the Sirius Act and Profinet hardware catalog is already included in the TIA portal. Do you always need the TIA portal? No, we also offer a free GSD file, which enables you to add devices outside the TIA portal. That's interesting, but today we're talking about integration into the TIA portal. Right. That's what I want to show you now. We are currently in the network view in the TIA portal. Now, we have to select our interface module for Sirius Act with Profinet from the hardware catalog. I can either do it via the tree structure or enter the MLFB at the top. The failsafe interface module is moved into the network view by drag and drop. Our interface module is then connected to the controller. This is also done by drag and drop. After that, I change to the device view in the interface modules, where I have to go through the same setup routine as I would if I were working with actual hardware in the field. There are three terminal modules available in the hardware catalog, which I have to set up in the same sequence as in the field. The first is the commanding module, which I can add by drag and drop or by double clicking on it. The second is the commanding and LED module, which is also moved over by drag and drop. And the third is the LED module. Again, I move it across by drag and drop. I can check that I have the right devices by looking at the symbol that is also printed on the back of the devices. Ein Abgleich kann ich machen, indem dass ich hier diese Zeichen sehe und diese Zeichen sind auch auf den Geräten hinten aufgedruckt. Now I switch to the network view and have to compile the program. When I've done that, I can load it onto the controller. Danach lade ich das einfach in die Steuerung. Now there are just two steps left. Assigning the name and the Profisafe address. To do so, I go online, right-click our interface module, and select Assign Name, followed by Profisafe address. Then I can check whether everything is correct by seeing if there is a green check mark in every box. There are also other settings I can make. I can set the LED intensity for illuminated devices, and I can set the flashing frequency. The hardware configuration is now complete. That's really not so difficult. Thank you, Helmut. As you've seen today, it is not only easy to install the devices, but also to configure the hardware in the TIA portal. In the next Serious Act news item, we will explain how quick and easy it is to replace devices. Why not take a look? See you next time. <laughs>